welcome back in the last session we have discussed about you know er modeling attributes okay so we have seen what are different type of attributes and all are there in today's session we will be talking about of how we can go, going to draw a you know er diagram itself and what are the notation that is to be followed for the drawing of the er diagram okay so having said this uh, let us understand each of this notation so entity so entity as we have discussed already it's an object or concept about which you know business user wants to store information like we have talked about student employee so entity is represented with a with a rectangle okay you can see this particular diagram itself so it's a rectangle the rectangle and inside the rectangle we can you can type the what, what is the name of that particular entity so suppose it is student so we'll write student if it is employee we'll write employee okay so now we also have said during our year modeling that the entity two types of there one is the strong entity or regular entity another is the weak entity so this represents nothing but the strong entity itself now if you want to do represent a weak entity then we have to do with a double rectangle you can see that you know double uh, rectangle and what is a weak entity a weak entity which doesn't have any key attribute right or which is completely dependent on the uh, this particular you know strong entity itself that means suppose this in the entire you know diagram itself if this entity is not a part of the ER diagram immediately the weak entity itself will not be the part of the uh, what do you see the ER diagram itself so and weak entity is simply we represent by you know double added uh, rectangle symbol okay yes so having said this next we have an attribute right attribute is represented with an oval shape you can see that and you can write the name of the attribute and whenever you have a key attribute just we need to put an under underline under uh, underline then underline the name of the attribute itself. so example if your student uh, id itself you say right id then you can just put an underline under the id then it will become what a uh, you know key attribute itself so let us understand the next okay sorry next is the multi-value attribute the multi-value attribute is re is represent with you know double shape uh, o o o double oval shape itself the, the way we have the strong uh, weak entity with a you know double rectangle itself so for the for the multi-value attribute we have the double shape you know oval uh, shape it is simply looking like that so this is represent as the multi-value attribute so next derived attribute derived attribute is oval set but in a dotted form and what is a derived attribute derived attribute is the attribute which is based which can be derived or can be calculated from the other attribute so we have uh i've seen some example in the last uh you know class in the in the last session also like in in, in a session of the attribute itself like uh suppose if you want to know the years of experience so it's just simply we need to know the date of joining and by the current time we can know that similar here also if for example an employee's multi -salary, monthly salary is based on employee basic salary and the house rent allowance so these are actually uh, the uh, you know, uh, attributes that is stored storing some values as as salary and our out, uh, house rent so based on these two we can you know uh, calculate the uh, monthly salary right okay then relationship the relationship between two particular you know entity can be represented by a diamond shape okay what is relationship we will we'll going to discuss more uh you know the cardinality the degree of the particular relationship and all we're going to discuss more detail in the upcoming session so the relationship can be only be represented using the uh, diamond shape okay now suppose the relationship is having within with the huge entity then that particular relation can be represented by again double you know uh, 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 rhombus symbol so you can see this is nothing but a rhombus itself so here also we have a double rhombus and double rhombus is used in order to represent nothing but the weak entity itself okay so we, let me go back again so entity it is represented by a rectangle right weak entity we have a double rectangle attribute is written uh, uh, symbolic as a uh, oval shape if it's a key attribute just you have to underline the name okay 
Then if it is a multi-value attribute, then we have, you know, double oval shape. If it is a derived attribute, just simply <coughs> you have to put the dotted line, okay? And then if you want to talk about relationship, then uh, we, we represent with a diamond shape. And if it is a uh, relation existing with the weak entity, we have the double, uh, you know, uh, a number symbol, okay? So having said this, let us see some example attribute we've already discussed. So here, if you see this employee, we have attributes, okay, employee number, name, date of birth, address, and designation. So these are the attributes, and the employee is the you know entity. So it's a rectangle shape, and you say this is all oval shape. And in the oval shape, we have written name of the of the attributes like employee number, name, date of birth, address, and designation. Okay, right. Suppose if you want to see that if out of the, the key attributes. So we have underlined. So this becomes the key attribute, the employee number. Okay. The key attribute is underlined. So we have underlined the key attribute. Okay. And the, uh, this attribute is nothing but the employee number itself. So now skill set. Suppose we want to put a multi-value attribute. So this is the multi-value attribute. You can see the double, you know, uh, the oval and the double, uh, it is the skill set. So for example, for an employee, as I said, he may be skilled in he may be Java, he may be Python, he may be knowing AWS and all these things. So this can be this will attribute can be represent using you know double uh, oval shape, right? So next we have a composite attribute. Uh, the composite attributes which we have not mentioned in notation because there is no size of notation. Only thing is that you have to remember that if you write this uh, uh, attribute, okay, then from that, you, you, you can just, you know, elaborate what are the, uh, what you say, the components of that particular. So, simply, when I said address here, I have given the floor, I have given the, you know, building. So, floor itself became one particular entity uh, uh, attribute and, sorry, another type of attribute. Building itself is another type of attribute itself. But both of these are connected with the address. So, when you do such kind of thing, then we will come to know this address is nothing but a composite attribute, okay. Now, we we talked about uh, in in a section about uh, the cardinality, okay, the ratio that m is to n and all. So whenever you are representing, just you have to write, you know, n and one, okay. See this particular diagram itself, okay. As I was saying that how relationship is been is been shown with the diamonds, okay, and relationship may exist between the uh, between the entity itself so this is represent this is the representation suppose if the customer is one type of entity account is one type of entity so there is a relation between the customer and uh you know uh, customer and uh what you say account so what is it is saying that one particular you know there will it's, it's a one particular account and you know related with the n number of customer itself right one particular a a account can have you know n number of transaction itself so this certain uh, you can see the value that is written we we discuss what this one and n in the later part when we were talking about cardinality example and all just you have to understand the representation here so we are representing from which side we will have the cardinality one on the which other side will be having the cardinality n or m so you can see one and m uh, one m is written how it is particularly you know, written in this particular uh, diagram itself okay and for example if it is just you know uh, a relation exists within that particular uh, what you say entity itself for example employee okay having its relationship we'll see okay this is something which you call as self link and can be represented like that in, in this format okay so we have the diamond shape for the relationship so just connecting the diamond with the both sides okay and if you are having a two entity connecting we can do like that this is or we can see a three ways uh three you know entity connectivity with two type of relationship that we have okay so we'll see more in details when you talk about uh the notation uh the <coughs> relationship in the next uh the session itself okay so in this particular, I hope you have understood that how we represent the notation entity by rectangle, okay, weak entity by double rectangle, attributes by simple oval shape, key attributes just underline whatever you have written, okay, just for example, employee number that we have seen, multi value attribute with double oval shape, okay, key 
derived attribute are in a dotted form okay if you want to have a representative or relationship then you have to group in a uh, diamond shape and if it is a relationship with the weak then we have the double seven uh you know double uh, 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 uh rhombus shape right so relationship is the rhombus shape okay yes so thank you so much i hope you have understood this particular you know, attribute itself so here employee number is a key so that's why we underline it similarly key set uh, skill set is a multi value so we have represented in a double oval shape okay composite attribute this is something which is important there, there is no kind of notation but simply uh, this particular attribute is a uh, composite because other two attributes are connected to that right when there is a connection that you have that is this becomes address itself now becomes a composite attribute then we have seen the relationship how to uh, write the n and m and all more we will see when we will talk about the relationships okay i i hope you have understood the uh, er notation you don't understand the notation is important because uh once you understand then slowly we will be uh, going through the problem okay and once we understand the problem then we have to represent that problem with the er diagram itself okay so thank you if you like my video kindly share and subscribe it